good morning. May, um, I'm taking the floor being, uh, to a certain extent, the dark side of all this because of many reasons. First of all, because uh, uh, I'm maybe one of the, old, the oldest uh, speaker for the moment. <laughs> the second reason is that in the beginning of my life I was in politics and the third one is that I'm talking about lobbying. Uh, lobbying 2.0, why? Because uh, we consider that uh, what lobbying was uh, uh, was based on a very different world from what we are uh, living in now. Lobbying has been based on very powerful national states and governments and institutions while now for many reasons that have been, uh, that have been uh, remembered here, the, we find and we face uh, increasingly weaker decision makers. In fact, the decision making process in itself is global and it is based uh, in a network age, as it was said, on a network of responsibilities. Uh, so, uh, in, the, in the context, there, are also, there is also the fact that the connected citizens and individuals are becoming part more and more of this process. So, lobbying as was intended before, representation of interests uh, was based on mainly on uh, influencing legislation of the national states, tries in general, and still exists for sure, has not disappeared completely, but tries to meet the right person to make their case uh, in a one-to-one -one relation. As we have said now, if there is a different, uh, I mean, decision-making process. In established coalition building is still uh, true among interests, but in general it needs or it needed still now uh, little transparency. The PR campaigning were oriented to influence decision making and that's all. While to, today I believe that this, the interests uh, must uh, enter in the process that you have described in many, with, through many experiences and to uh, have a new approach in interest representation. The internet as a platform can do a lot of things, provides tools to influence legislation for sure, but so mainly it can enable an open conversation with the stakeholders before talking or better than talking to the decision makers. It helps grassroots movements to influence policy making and it suggests also ideas. The Internet as a platform also fosters great trans greater transparencies because everybody is more controlled and also the companies are more controlled by the conversation uh, that are taking place uh, uh, on the net and elsewhere. And uh, it can fuel social media to self empower anyone in any organization. That's why we are talking about lobbying 2.0 as a conversation and not negotiation. But let's make some examples. Some of them are within our experience and others are out of our experience with will be assisted to. One is this example. Many countries are rethinking to the nuclear power as a resource to reduce the CO2 emissions. And you know that this process is going ahead also in the United States. My question is if Mr. Obama can win over Omar Simpson in the sense that the, um, the actual attitude toward nuclear power is mainly given by the, uh, the, 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 the threat that is represented for the majority of the people by the nuclear plants, more than the more pragmatic and uh, innovative approach of Mr. Obama. So in this field, for example, lobbying the parliament or the government is, very, uh, is not useful at all. If less useful than what we must do, governments and industrial uh, interests, so listening to concerns of the people, empowering local communities to discuss the issues, discuss with them, activating credible scientific communities and points of view, describing alternatives and why you go in this way, opening data on security and private interests and so on. So it will be a long, uncertain, two-way communication process and not a campaign that solves this. You cannot find an adult testimony in, 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 uh, uh, instead of Homer Simpson to support uh, the Obama uh, new idea. That's why there is a new approach. Many uh, environmentalists who are in favor of nuclear uh, power actually are opening blogs. Or in Spain, there is a, a network called Io Soy Nuclear. And in, in Italy, there is a nuclear. In the United Kingdom, there are others. So they are starting or try to start a real, a transparent, a personalized participatory conversation 
to implement this uh, possibility. And without adding if they are or when they are financed by some, by some uh, uh, company or not, because this is fundamental to know. The same United States Department uh, of Energy in its initiative of open government with its open government team is doing the same to a certain extent, as you see. Uh, they include in this process of open government, of we gov, as you say, the American public, the stakeholders, the organizations, communities, but also industry regulators and legislators. You cannot do and go this way in another way. Let's make uh, some other example. In Italy, in 2008, uh, the government decided to double the VAT tax, the tax uh, or added value on the pay TV uh, from 10 to 20 percent. There was a strong reaction of the main company interested uh, to, to maintain the 10% articles, traditional letters, PR campaign. But the new thing was that several customers uh, organized Facebook pages, uh, uh, online petitions, which were, again, and they started on their own a grassroots campaign. So the new media in that case helped and uh, amplify and broaden the audience uh, without the control of the company. But as nonetheless the new law has been enforced, so it, the, the, the VAT was doubled, those supporters, who are also customers of pay-per-view platform, regretted that the company, on the, on the FB uh, pages, that the company transferred the cost, or all the cost to them. While on other channels, marketing channels, the company were launching different offers of cutting prices. So if you enter, this is the consequence, if you enter in direct conversation, you get more audience, but you lose control on it. So you cannot quit this conversation because it is affecting you. Another uh, example is quite recent. Uh, the, the question is, is Mr. Berlusconi equal to any user uplo uploading videos on the net? In, the, in this, this year, a bill in Italy tried to impose uh, the same rules and limits for online video platforms as for traditional TV platforms. Imposing to YouTube, but also to any blogger which was uploading a video, the same rules and law working or not working for Mr. Berlusconi's or Mr. Murdoch's uh, TV companies. For sure, this was a matter of big interest for the big online companies against this, uh, this bill but it was a matter of life and death or death for millions of bloggers and internet users who were uploading video. What happened and the choice has been let the people prevail. I mean, the big companies remained more or less silent on this point. The bloggers took the initiative, association of small service providers and many connected individuals on Facebook and Twitter take initiatives against this bill even some of them were quite critical toward uh, those online companies. Uh, this pr created many proposals also, and the bill has been amended, even if not as everybody wanted, and the thing is still open, but it is a, a, a different sense. So to, uh, just to end, lobbying 2.0 to make your case means be transparent and stay grassroots because you cannot uh, uh, pretend to give your leadership to those who are uh, uh, interesting to the, uh, to, the, to the issue. Lose control because you cannot have absolute control. Join the conversation because being out of the conversation is anyhow negative. Enhance this conversation if you can and if you have arguments and respect it. And also find, if you can, crowdsourced solution. This would mean that we change the approach and maybe we can pass from uh, an approach which was, uh, I mean, referred by the movie that uh, I think everybody knows, uh, which was uh, thank you for smoking, imposing pressure, uh, going from uh, top down and so on to lobbying 2.0, which means thank you for taking the power and maybe also somebody, sometimes the companies have to renounce to their target if they are not uh, shared by, by, by the people. Thank you very much.